Hi everybody! I've got a 30 minute session that I'm doing for a client. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals here and get tuned in. Okay. I would like more insight about my purpose in this lifetime and what I could do to work on going forth with that path. Okay. Just give me a moment here. I'm absorbing all this in. Okay. All right, I'm going to get started now. Okay. Looking at purpose. How to make that purpose happen. Okay. There's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of information all at one time. Something sort of like it kind of hits me on the back. It's not violent by any means. It's just sort of like a push on my upper back. And then I'm in a very um, small space, kind of like a cubicle, but even smaller than that. And it's just dark everywhere. And I can hear the clicking of uh, computer keys and focusing. And there's just the only light is this computer screen. So it's just kind of like this going on right now. All right, so you're not focusing in the right direction because this push is wanting you to say, hey, who just pushed me? And then turn around and look in that direction. But instead you're, it's almost like, this is one idea that comes to me. They're not necessarily saying this is what it's about, but you could be uh, looking for information on how you can better yourself, all right? when all the information you need is in the air and there's a push from your spirit guides for you to work with something beyond the human world okay but let's just see where this goes simply an idea about what i'm being shown thus far all right so it's going to get a little bit of a bit aggressive because I'm in your energy field and you heard me. So you keep a part of yourself at the computer and then you have another part of yourself sit, stands up and turns around. But you look a little pissed off like somebody just interrupted and you were focused. How dare you? <laughs> so you're like this. The thing is you don't know who did that you don't know why you felt that you don't know was it a ghost was it it's actually kind of creates a creepy sensation and you show me this part of yourself goes to check the door and look outside because you thought maybe somebody had knocked at the door but there's nobody there and you're wondering if maybe you're just hearing things and I see this sort of, um, I don't know, like hands going like this. <laughs> She's trying to find me. It's kind of like that. You're obviously capable. It's not very often that I see uh, in the information somebody who is able to separate their soul to do multiple tasks at the same time. <laughs> that happens all the time, but just not in sessions in order to give you feedback about yourself. So it's kind of um, cool <laughs> that you're doing that. You kind of, so you go back to what you're focusing on, but your focus is totally lost. And you're kind of, um, mm, your mind is kind of lost in what was that, that I just experienced or I just felt or I just heard. And then there's nothing there and it's trying to link it's trying to connect with it's trying to go further with that unusual experience i ask you why are you busying yourself at night it's almost like this dark is keeping this you um, 
it's just your secret little world where just you are in it and there's nobody else in it with you. There's no sunlight shining in. It doesn't feel like it's an open experience. Um, it just feels kind of like a singular experience just for you. And it just is a bit shut out, in my opinion, energetically shut out. There needs to be more light in here. Even if you're growing at night, <laughs> expanding your soul at night, there it can be a, a, an experience of love and light. Not It just feels like the darkness is um, unhealthy, a bit unhealthy. And maybe that's why it feels creepy when you go investigate the sound that you heard instead of it being something you would be open and intrigued by inside your heart. It's more of a ghost hunter's moment and more in the mind investigating. All right, you're quite dimensional. So you also have an interesting connection with broken energies all right so i see this scene is still in place it's just kind of over there and now a new scene is form forming itself and it is it's a porcelain doll that's very broken and one eye is missing and it looks like some black goo is coming down it's kind of creepy looking it looks like a scary broken doll that has like a demonic life force okay And I see this image, and now I see you moving into the kitchen. And this doll is in your cupboard, and you're kind of opening the cupboard and closing it like nothing is there, and you're just taking a plate, and you're fixing yourself something, <laughs> like a pizza pocket. <laughs> I mean, it's something like really quick and easy, toss it in the microwave, eat. <laughs> something like this. But the like you opened the cupboard, you saw it, but you just didn't see it. You just pulled out a plate instead, but it's like there, it's very obviously there. All right, multidimensional. So that scene is happening while simultaneously the scene at the computer is happening while simultaneously you're still wondering about that strange noise while simultaneously now something else. Again, it's kind of you walking around in the dark. It feels like a night experience. It feels like in the house. but it's busying yourself. It's not getting ready for bed. It's just stretching the time out. Um, there's something to do with time in this next message, like stretching out the time, like another 15 minutes, another hour, another um, more time kind of thing. And there is a feeling of getting sleepier, but not deciding to go to bed yet, just sort of staying up later. Okay. And then I see you in this time space. You're kind of in a hallway. Um, and it's just sort of, um, it's just avoiding going to bed. And you're starting to look stretched thin. Like, like you need a parent to tell you it's your bedtime and you're going to bed and I don't want to hear another word about it. <laughs> you kind of need that in the scene, okay? Like you need to go to bed. But you can't let go. You can't let go of this. You need to keep investigating. You need to keep doing this, absorbing this information. You need to keep focusing. It doesn't necessarily feel like a job. It feels like a hobby in a way. Like you're you're thinking your mind is expanding you're opening your eyes you need more um information food and later and later and later at night i need to figure out here 
there there is a definite um, unhealthy energy about this, not the expansion of self, but it feels a bit closed off. It feels um, a little bit there. There's some tainted energies here. There's something. Um, demonic like there is and demonic isn't like um it's not like a horror movie it's just simply energy that's out of balance okay it has a very very specific feeling to it like something needs to be looked at something needs to be healed here but you're not able to see it straight on you're not able to put your finger on it you're not actually um knowing how to connect and you don't know the steps. You just simply don't know the steps. So there's still this like humanistic um, approach to life. And and it feels like um, expanding yourself, like going beyond, um, going into, you know, conspiracies or new age stuff or spiritual stuff. And like, it feels like very interesting. Um, but what about the steps of, of actually tuning into those that information energetically like tuning into the other side um understanding it learning from the energy itself not from the words on the screen or the video or whatever um actually a new a new level of study that isn't on the human level it's a step up here uh, so I'm going to slow everything down because I definitely need to look at this um, um, demonic energy. I don't know what other word to use here, but it just, it needs, it's something that needs to be looked at, something that needs to be faced. It's in your energy field here. So we're just going to look at it together. And obviously it has something to do with, um, what's my purpose and how do I get there? Well, there's something tied in here with that question and this energy I'm picking up on. Hmm. Thing is, you're quite, uh, you have kind of an overseeing eye over, of yourself and all the parts of you and everything they're doing at every moment in time. And so you have this all seeing eye version of yourself. And now I'm seeing that you have this compartmentalized um, experience. This part of me is doing this, this part of me is doing that, this part of me is doing this. And you keep it all very organized so you can keep track of everything. Um, and you keep it in kind of like this ultimate sphere, like a disco ball, but it's like on the inside in the heart of the disco ball is all of these parts of yourself and their extraordinary journey of self-discovery, you know? But it's all kind of dark and a little bit like kind of enclosed. It's not expanded. It's not like, yeah, let the light in. It's not, it's like deeper and darker, you know? It's kind of like that. So, I, so I'm ready to go and investigate this but you're all seeing I is like, is like, no, no. <laughs> is that, so I have to go talk to your all seeing I here and see what, what we can work out. It's very controlling. That means, that means you are controlling of yourself. You're too controlling, which tells me it's an ego thing. Because once ego starts to notice that ego isn't, is losing its power to the spirit realm, it can become like this. It can do a lot of things in order to keep you um, disconnected from what you are as just, you're born psychic, you're born spiritual, you're born all these things. But the creative aspects of ourself get dulled out with the logic and the math and the sciences and the realistic world and the right and the wrong and the black and the white. When really it's like a super colorful universe and every answer is yes. Like every answer is the most interesting thing because there's so many avenues, there's just limitless avenues here. But in our world, we need to work with... Um, I just need a couple of things that tell me everything I need to know. Like it needs to be, um, it needs to be deduced down to something I can work with. And that's me understanding the whole universe. It, the human is like this. Mm. I'm 
I'm just I'm just altering the energy here and the energy is altering it's slowing down it's still a bit controlling it's the image is changing a little bit it's as if like this total you is walking towards me now from the dark that I'm placing my hand in your heart in order to just bring more of the light out from inside yourself There's a lot there's a lot less activity right now. It's all slowing down. I'm introducing other ideas like um I don't know, super soft white fluffy angel wings. Like I'm I'm really t exploring your dark and light sides here to see cuz I'm I'm really tapping into more of the darker side and I'm introducing other sides of the spectrum um to understand more about you, okay? And you are an infinite universe, but this is the loudest information I'm supposed to present to you. I ask this part of you if you want to be set free. She says, um, in order to do that, I must cry a lot. And it's like the, the act of the, the tears in order to do this is uh, um, uncomfortable. But just simply talking about it is already is already doing that is already the thought of it um, thinking about crying, thinking about not wanting to cry like it's already creating movement. There's some kind of lots of tangled up um, old rose bushes um, on the inside of this reflection of you, the whole you that comes towards me. And then I place my hand in her heart. And the all-seeing eye, we're like way above that place. Like we're in another place, another dimensional space. And I don't feel like that activity is even the same anymore because the energy shifted so much. Now we're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation and you're looking at me and I'm looking at you. It's almost like you're acknowledging that the little push on your back was a knock on your door and it was knocking on the back side of you, on yourself. And now you're answering the door by choosing to face me. So I'm like a spirit guide. I'm, I'm representing like you choosing to directly face the spirit realm in a way where you acknowledge that you do know how to do that and what it takes to really heal yourself to heal all the thorns and it's just like it's like somebody chopped down a bunch of rose bushes and maybe the rosebuds weren't growing anymore, but it's like they they had to put all that material somewhere. So somehow it got tossed inside of you. So you got all these just like weed whacked, like thorny, like stems and parts of ro a rose bush that has no roses. And this is interesting too, but these stems have thorns and you at, at times use it to protect yourself. So sometimes the pain then becomes um, a shield of it like protects you. 
I don't know how other else to explain what that means, but they show me that sometimes you stand strong with all those thorns and the thorns then become your ally. They actually assist you, but it's all working with pain. So it's not healing anything at all, is it? It's just like the doll in the cupboard that we're not acknowledging here. This is very hard for you to hear and that starts to jumpstart those tears that you're resisting, crying. You really like to keep things in order because once the tears start to come, um, and they don't come a lot, just like a couple of tears, that's it. Um, you project your consciousness back out to take a look at all the different um, realities that you are in and that you control and that you oversee and to make sure everything is in order and that you know where everything is, everything's in place. So you keep track of the many parts of your soul um, through everything. It's like keeping the ultimate photo album um, of memories of every single second and every moment and every inspiration and every th thought and feeling of your whole life. It's kind of like this. The overseeing part of you keeps an eye on everything. It has to go back and just check that it's all where you left it. But that has to go. That is not going to be easy because now you don't get to decide you don't get to put this um, on the shelf and then you decide if it stays there or not. You don't get to decide. The universe now guides you. So you have to trust in everything and you have to let go of holding on. Holding on to too many parts of yourself that you are have scattered when really you just need to bring them all back together and be all you and then be completely without the all-seeing eye and just feel the guidance inside yourself guiding you to the next thing. This is a total, um, my life was like this and now my life is nothing like this, you know? That's how, that's how black and white this is gonna feel like or how about black and, and then yellow, red, green, blue. <laughs> so it goes from one solid color to like whoa like it's a totally new way of living a totally new way of expressing yourself this um you have a bit of a unhealed side inside yourself and she's um very does not like this conversation she even um clenches the thorns and lets them um, go into her fists and then she gets really angry at me and she's small she's little and then she starts to grow big from inside of you and she's going to handle this which is me <laughs> But I say that the thorns aren't going to protect you here because the thorns have never actually protected you. They've only kept you in a state of suffering. She's instantly snuffed out pretty quick. This is like a really big next part of your journey is learning how to let go of the all-seeing eye and the control of the parts of yourself to heal the thorns, to cry, to feel vulnerable and weak even, to go from one solid color black to all the colors of the rainbow when you choose to do that, you become all the colors of yourself. It's like the shroud of darkness it reveals all the colors that had created it in the first place. Mm. The more I talk to you about this, the more it enlightens your mind and it 
helps you to remember something about who you are that you forgot and it doesn't feel like the tears of sorrow um, that make you feel vulnerable in fact you're starting to feel like there's nothing really to cry about there's only um, a time now to move on from that way of being to transition and to embrace that and enjoy that transition so this is um, quite surprisingly fast that this is suddenly happening here well, let's see it's a male part of yourself he comes from behind you and then grows taller than you steps from behind out to the side and then forwards but doesn't step in front of you you are very weak and vulnerable without this male persona because you look kind of curled up and um, I mean you look like you're just kind of a bush with a person somehow stuck inside of it and you're very small and kind of shriveled up and you can't really function without the male side the male energy which keeps you balanced and strong and assertive and I mean it keeps you like solid that is also um, you can't rely on that because that that male persona is definitely going like that male persona is definitely here to help but you're almost relying on it to be who you are but you obviously have this female side that you also need to be so your female side is extremely um, been very harmed okay and this so it's like divine feminine divine masculine divine feminine has to become strong so the male and the female sides balance each other male doesn't just like do everything to keep it in balance together like they they have to work together and you giving too much of your power to the male side which the male side is very loving and very supportive but also feels like that's his role like he like he has to almost do this life for you him I just kind of ignore him because I, I have to keep focusing on you because you're so, um, I mean, you're withering to basically nothing and a weird bush is growing from what you once were. Weird, uh, thorny bush. And he's still, like, talking and explaining and, like, super great guy. <laughs> he is, but I, I'm just, like, but wait a second where did you go and what <laughs> and why isn't he just stopping for a minute to look at this with me he tells me because if he stops and he looks at it it will break his heart so he has to keep talking and he has to keep focusing and he has to keep doing in order to keep everything in place because it could fall apart and he could fall apart and he can't fall apart it's like yeah you can fall apart because you kind of this has to be totally rebuilt like like we created this awesome lego thing but you know we kind of need to create a new lego thing because i don't i'm bored of it now <laughs> but instead of being bored of it it's like i'm just gonna start over and start with this totally new design totally new it's so many aspects i don't know this lego metaphor has many sides to it that somehow also work but rebuilding is the main theme and to rebuild you must break down you must break down man this gives me a terrible stomach ache and that stomach ache goes straight into my sacral chakra and it makes me dizzy in my head it feels like i've lost my 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 mind but not insane just with exhaustion 
with like, oh, no, I can't. It's like, it's a lot. You've got a really awful uh, thorny root here that just, just, I don't know, it's like you're puking out some black dirt and then this shoots out, but it's kind of stuck, so it's got to be kind of pulled out and it's thorny. Oh man. So I'm going to stop the scene because it's just way too gruesome and it doesn't have to be like this. You have so many sides of yourself that again, you're reverting back to the you that knows how to do it like this instead of the you that doesn't even know how to begin to do it any other way. <sighs> because now you're kind of, you're just composed and you're eating this like dark red apple and I can hear it. And you're kind of just looking at me from this dark and you kind of, I don't know, this like sexy demonic woman with a red apple. It's like, that's what you're like right now in the scene. Just like you're back against the wall and just like looking at me like you have all this together. But it's just all like an ego, per or it's just a facade in a way. She is again like a protector of you. Um but it's like coming from unresolved pain. And she could disappear like this, that fast. She only exists because the pain still exists and you using, like you created a, an, a being, a conscious being um, just as a reflection of the pain that is in control of it. But she doesn't actually exist. She only does right now because you want her to. But she's not actually who you are. She's just a reflection of your pain. Man, this is opening up some stuff here in your emotional gut, like it is. And it's, it's like, it's, it's like, I mean, things are, are circulating there, but it's in a bit of like a, like, did I hear something? Go look at the, out the door, nobody's there, creepy feeling. It's kind of a little like that, a little goosebumpy in the creepy realm. <laughs> But there's circulation here, and this stuff has got to get resolved. You got to know what I'm talking about here. Because I can't get to the other side of this, which means it's part of your reality, as you are right now. But this here is so congested with meaning that this can this can have a stem or a root that goes into other lives that has molded and shaped your soul in certain ways and it, this is a life for you to decide um, how you want to work on it this time okay there's a lot to you that's for sure okay so that's what I had to share. I don't want all this like dark stuff to kind of um, be too too loud in the message. It just it is because I I have to I'm I'm drawn to also healing these aspects of you. Um, but really, what it's saying is that you're quite dynamic. You're extremely dynamic. You're not simple. All right, complex. And complexity like this um, has many roots, has many faces, has many techniques and way of working through lives. And so you should be in awe of who you are. 
So don't let that dark stuff overshadow how truly like interesting you are and complex you are. Okay. Thank you very much. It is a pleasure to connect with you and to get to know who you are deep down inside and to share that with you and with others. Thank you so much. And uh, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, thank you everybody. I hope you all have a great day.